Hello everyone. In the previous video, we talked about the respiration in human beings and today we are going to start with the next respiration which occurs in the cells that is cellular respiration. So as I already said that uh, this respiration occurs in the cells of the body. Okay. So what happens uh, actually in this respiration, the blood, it uh, takes oxygen from all the cells okay and uh, then the hemoglobin which is present in the blood it, it binds itself with the oxygen and afterwards it forms what oxyhemoglobin what is it oxyhemoglobin right and uh, this oxygen further it is carried by the blood okay and uh, this respiration it uh, occurs in the cells of the body and which is mitochondria okay so this respiration occurs mainly in mitochondria which is a cell organelle okay and during this respiration the sugar molecules in the food are oxidized that means they get bounded with the oxygen okay and afterwards this oxygen oxidized food it changes or it form carbon dioxide and water and even some heat is also released out during the process okay so let's see how this process occurs it happens like first of all we have glucose which are present in our blood and afterwards this glucose it reacts with oxygen which we take from the environment got it and afterwards they just oxidize this this glucose it oxidize and uh, then it releases what carbon dioxide water in some energy right so this is carbon dioxide water and energy you know this process occurs also in chemical com uh, reaction that is combustion so same process it occurs in combustion so but what is the difference between both the things how can we distinguish both these okay so let's see so the first is combustion is a fast process but the cellular respiration is slow and uh, it can occur at uh, high temperature also because the ignition temperature we require for the combustion but in the case of cellular respiration our body temperature is required for this right and the next thing it can occur anywhere that means anywhere it can happen for example the different parts of the uh, any kind of combustible substance but in the case of cellular organ cellular respiration it occurs only in the living cells not in the dead cells okay and uh, energy is released in a single step in the form of heat and light but in the next thing that means the cellular respiration it is released in steps and stored in chemical molecules okay so these are called ATP that means adenosine triphosphate so this ATP it stores the energy okay so even we have difference between breathing and cellular respiration so first of all we will talk about the breathing so breathing it is a physical process of exchange of gases that means we inhale oxygen and uh, exhale carbon dioxide but in the case of cellular respiration chemical reaction of oxidation of food takes place okay so what uh, like uh, the food which we take and uh, the cells they they get oxygen from it okay and then change into carbon dioxide and even the form of a denotine triphosphate so the molecules are uh, formed here right and the next thing it takes place outside the cells so breathing it takes place outside the cells that means the, your organs are required for this breathing process but if we talk about the cellular respiration it takes place within the cells so like in, in the animal cells we have different organelles and the, uh, in these organelles the mitochondria is responsible for the uh, exchange of gases and even it is known as the powerhouse of the cell 
next we have there is no release of energy so when we uh, inhale or exhale we do not release any energy right but in the case of cellular respiration they release energy which is stored in the form of what atp got it next thing we have types of respiration so what are the different types of respiration we have so basically two types of respiration we have first thing is aerobic respiration and the another one is anaerobic respiration so this aerobic respiration it happens or occurs in the presence of oxygen okay it occurs in the presence of oxygen this is called aerobic respiration basically it uh, uh, happens in the cells and like a food in the form of glucose is oxidized to produce carbon dioxide and water okay but if we talk about the anaerobic respiration so they do not require oxygen to breathe or respire okay so like uh, yeast and some bacteria they live without oxygen so they do not require oxygen for respiration and that type of uh, respiration is known as anaerobic respiration got it let's understand that how animals respire anaerobically so the first thing that you need to do take a flask okay and uh, add some water but before adding it you need to boil this water up to 15 minutes so that the oxygen can remove from it okay and uh, then put some live yeast in it right and make a layer of oil and water onto the water and then add a cork on the, as a stopper and uh, then in the next thing we have a test tube which have having some uh, lime water and uh, combine with both with a small or thin straw and in the next flask uh, you just put some water okay that means uh, boiled water and oil the all the mechanism will be same as the previous one but here you will not put some yeast okay so what happens in both the processes first of all we talk about the flask b so here no any uh, means the bubbles are there and no any change you can see right but in the case of flask a so here yeast is present so it respires that means it uh, breaks the glucose into carbon dioxide and uh, ethanol right and all and also release some energy and uh, it this these bubbles so it turns milky so this milky water it shows that the presence of carbon dioxide and ethanol in this right so basically they respire in the absence of oxygen and they convert glucose into ethanol and carbon dioxide and by releasing some energy okay so this is how the yeast respires anaerobically so students here our chapter completes in the next video we will come with our next chapter